Good Saturday afternoon, March 11th, 2023. In this video, we're tracking two storms, one expected to rapidly intensify along the east coast of the northeast, such as New York, and then we're keeping an eye on another system that we're really watching closely for Monday through Wednesday for California that can bring strong damaging winds, heavy rain, and heavy snowfall. So as always, we're going to be looking at the European model this is going to be a pretty short video since I have family plans this afternoon, so i got to take care of that. So in the meantime, here's a look at Sunday morning as far as who's going to get rain, who's going to get snow, and we can see definitely California with the next set of atmospheric river of moisture streaming on in for late tonight all the way through Sunday and into Monday while we're keeping an eye on a system in the southeast. This is going to be the next nor'easter that's going to be impacting the northeast for Monday and Tuesday about the time we get our big fair share of rain and strong winds. So going forward here, all the way into, um, say, uh, Monday morning, Monday afternoon, we can see uh, that system really develops in a hurry right off the Carolinas, as well as Virginia and Maryland. That's going to be the one that's going to have hurricane force winds offshore of the Northeast, while in the meantime, we're getting ready for this big guy for Tuesday morning. In fact, there it is, big atmospheric river slamming central and northern California. We could be looking at wind gusts over 60 miles an hour, maybe even 70 and 80 miles an hour for the higher elevations of the coastal ranges and along the coast there. The National Weather Service has issued already high wind watches and flood watches already ahead of this big massive beast that is going to slam the west, including for Oregon under winter uh, type products soon there because you're going to get some heavy snow for the higher elevations. Lower elevations, we're going to be seeing some light to moderate rainfall while look at this this is some very heavy snowfall right across the central and southern new york state including for massachusetts uh, if you're in vermont new hampshire if you are in connecticut rhode island yeah you could be talking about some really intense snowfall rates of at least over an inch and a half maybe four inches an hour perhaps with that and that's going to continue to spin around there through Tuesday into a Tuesday afternoon. So for your commute, it'd be really, really rough, including for the West there with that active weather that does continue. And then things look to settle down by the middle of the week. So say by Wednesday, that system is offshore, well offshore of the Northeast, while this system that we're gonna get on Tuesday is gonna be over the four corners and it's gonna be a little more diluted than what it is when it makes its way onshore. Snowfall totals anywhere between about a foot to maybe a couple of feet of snow over, say, Albany, New York, maybe Syracuse. You can get quite a bit of snow out of this. New York City, maybe between one to five inches of snowfall. Again, where this exactly sets up is going to be key here. If this thing sets up a little further south, then big, 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 huge snow increases are possible. Rhode Island, or no, not Rhode Island, Long Island. There we go. Maybe eight inches of the 10 and 1 ratio stuff. 34 plus inches there over Massachusetts, Southern Vermont, and New Hampshire, and it is pouring extremely hard outside right now. Um, tell you more about that in just a second. Might do some storm chasing today. And then, of course, um, for Pennsylvania, between two to four inches of rain um, expected. My gosh, it is pouring like mad outside right now. It is just wicked dumping as hard as it can. Sorry, I'm distracted. Wild weather day for us. Um, it's going to be bad. It's going to be very bad here. Um, for the Sierras, though, snowfall totals maybe between 5 and 10 feet. Not 10 feet, but more like 5 to 8 feet possible all the way through Wednesday and maybe even into Wednesday night. Snowfall or not snowfall totals. Um, the day two um, excessive rainfall outlook for California is a slight risk. So we are looking at um, some flood concerns, more runoff, more um, debris flows, maybe more landslides. Uh, then the day three outlook is a moderate risk for heavy rainfall for Northern California. Also for, say, Grass Valley could see some uh, moderate risk for heavy rainfall and flooding. Not only that, there's a marginal risk for Georgia, for Alabama, and that's going to lead to more flood problems there. Now, as far as severe weather goes, very interesting day. This just got uh, this just came out from the Storm Prediction Center. There is a marginal risk 
for severe weather in my area. We're talking funnel clouds, tornadoes today, large hail potential, and strong winds. Yes, strong winds, heavy, uh, large hail, possibly quarter size, and yes, tornadoes. And we're under one, underneath one of those storms right now. Um, it's just pouring. It's muggy. It's kind of humid. And then, of course, you got a slight risk for severe weather in Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, and western Mississippi. Uh, that is driven by, again, a 2% chance of tornadoes in the Oklahoma, the Arklatex area, as well as, again, for California. My neck of the woods. Yeah, I'm under a 2% chance for tornadoes today. Not only that, there's also a 5% chance of strong winds associated with the uh, with these thunderstorms. And I think that was a clap of thunder uh, just to my north, I bet, uh, or to my south uh, west. And then there's a 15% risk for strong winds over the Arklatex region. So yes, yeah, severe weather in the lower 48 is anticipated today. On top of that, we got a 5% a risk for large hail today in my area, along to go with a 15 sig for large hail in the Arklatex region. So a very active day for your day one severe weather outlook. But since I don't have time, um, I'm not going to be able to digest much in the way of future outlooks. But day two is also a slight risk for further southeast like Florida and the Georgia area. Okay, so what's going on in the in the United States as far as weather goes? Well, there's a f uh, yeah, there's a special weather statement for that storm. Actually, we'll look at that um, towards the end of the video. So there's a high wind watch and a flood watch for the Southern California region, like Bakersfield, Fresno, actually more Central California than uh, with the Bay Area under a high wind watch and a flood watch too. Winter storm warnings are issued for the Sierra. So watch out when you're going to the mountains, you're gonna be seeing some heavy snowfall, strong winds, high fire danger in New Mexico. We got blizzard warnings, uh, winter storm warnings for Northern Minnesota, North Dakota, as well as with winter storm watches and hurricane force warnings out there right off the coast of the Northeast, getting ready for that next big storm system. And there was another thunder boomer. I don't know if the mic is picking it up, but it's kind of getting wild outside. So definitely some active weather going on. I did want to show you something else. A very intense thunderstorm is moving over Stockton right now. This is producing some large hail, perhaps lots of lightning and uh, some strong gusty winds. All right. So definitely if you're in this area downstream, watch out when thunder roars go indoors. That's going to be kind of this deal today. Lots of convection instability today. Cape over about a thousand joules in my area. Dew points gonna it's getting getting muggy out there in the 60s right now with those dew points and temperatures are already in the low to mid uh, 60s outside. So it's really humid, a lot of instability, a lot of energy in the air, and so we're gonna have to keep an eye on how this all pans out today. Um, some strong thunderstorms capable of tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds are all expected. Well, that is gonna do it in today's video. If you did enjoy the video. Video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, share this video with your family and friends on social media, and lastly, be sure to check out the Mesovort WX website. There's a link in the description leading to that, as well as my Weather Force Gilded server. There's also a link in the description leading to that as well. But anyways, thank you all for participating in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here more with more weather content soon.